Every week seems to bring a significant development in the civil lawsuits against Deshaun Watson, and this one is no different. KPRC2 has learned that all 22 lawsuits will now be handled together. Our Courtney Zabowski has been following each development closely, so Courtney, now it's one judge for all 22 cases. That's right, Chris, and this is for pre-trial discovery only. If these cases ever see the inside of a courtroom, they will be tried individually, at least for now. But this consolidation is significant, our legal analyst says, because this shapes what happens next. It began with one and exploded into 22. 22 anonymous women accusing Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson of sexual misconduct during massages. With the consolidation of all of the cases against Watson into one courtroom, Harris County Judge Rabia Collier is in charge of all of them. I think it's a critical first step in a journey of a thousand miles that will ultimately result in my estimation in the bulk of these cases being Settled. On Friday, Judge Collier ordered the attorney for all of Watson's accusers, Tony Busby, to release the names of the cases in her court. At the time, the cases weren't consolidated. Meaning, outside of Ashley Solis, who revealed her identity at a news conference last week, based on Judge Collier's decision, all of Deshaun Watson's anonymous accusers must likely come forward. In the not too distant future, perhaps as early as Wednesday, we are going to see the cavalcade, if you will, of these almost two dozen complainants. Today, Tony Busby told KPRC, quote, no one is backing out just because they are disclosing their names. I've said all along that we had intended to do so at some point. Ultimately, when the cases are tried, it will be an open court. No one is hiding. And Tony Busby told me that he will amend the petitions, not refile them. He has until Friday to do that to release the names. We're live at Energy Park. Courtney Zabowski, KPRC 2 News.